and welcome back to my home. I hope you all are having a wonderful week. I wanted to show you some things I updated for the patio. I did these projects on Memorial Day. It was just gorgeous here and I wanted to spend the afternoon outside painting the fire pit I had showed you in the last video. I also got some white spray paint hoping I would get to my patio set to spray paint that but I didn't get to it so now I have that for later and some plant food for my hanging baskets. All right, I am ready to get started on the fire pit. The first thing I did was just take an old stiff broom and some sandpaper and just got all the loose rust off of it according to the instructions on the can. And as you can tell, my newspapers are kind of flying around there. I later found an old sheet that worked much better. put the first coat or two on this and it's looking really good. I am very happy with how it's turning out but rookie mistake I only got one can of this high heat paint and I'm probably gonna need three because this is pretty much gone and this one here looks pretty bad so that's gonna need a lot of work. <laughs> This thing is slap dab empty. But I got a pretty good coat on this one and just enough over here on the back side that I think it'll look all right to just put it together for now and then I will give it another coat later. This is a really fast drying paint and just so you can see closer, I got the Rust-Oleum High Heat. The birds are very happy today. And you can hear my neighbor mowing yard in the background. I'm envisioning a lot for this space. Envisioning roasting marshmallows with the fire pit, maybe having some friends over, or just some of my housemates and neighbors sitting around or just sitting here by myself relaxing. I have a hammock I would love to hang here too or get one to hang in this tree if the guy who mows the yard doesn't get annoyed with it. I recently watched a video where someone took a couple bar stools and painted them white and then set their ferns on top of it and I thought it was so pretty and it gave me inspiration to do uh, the same thing with a bar stool I had on hand and just some paint that I had left over and then I just distressed it a little bit as well. And I will try to find that video and link it below so that maybe you can find some inspiration from it as well.
Here I am just trimming off some of the brown edges from the fern. I think it was the part that was sitting in the sun a little too much and I hadn't watered it enough for a day or two. But it's actually growing back quite nicely now since it's haircut. 